Hi everyone, thanks for joining us today. My name is Brad Crozier and I'm with Koreaform. Today what we have here is we have a Polaris slingshot and we're going to be going ahead and 3D scanning it using the MetroScan Black Elite. So what we're going to be showcasing today is some of the new functionality in VX Elements 9.0. Uh, so some of our smart resolution functions where we can decrease triangle size on flat surfaces and also increase triangle size when we're talking about some of those high resolution areas. So sit back, relax and enjoy the show. The first thing we're going to do for this project is start by placing some of the positioning targets on the slingshot. Now the reason we use these positioning targets is so, so that it gives the user the ability to take the C-Track and move it to different locations on the part. So in doing this it gives you more flexibility to reach those harder to reach areas without having to do any types of leapfrog or losing accuracy or anything like that. Now another advantage to the targets is it keeps things fully dynamic. So regardless of temperature, vibration, operator, so on and so forth, we're able to eliminate all those variables and essentially stick to our ISO 17025 standard on the scanner. Once the targets are all set up, we're good to start scanning. Now this process is very straightforward. It's almost like spray painting. Uh, so it's very easy for the user. Essentially, you're just spray painting over the part. Now one of the main differences that we made with version 9.0 was you can see on the screen as you're spray painting over the part there's two colors that are visible. There's the yellow but also the blue. Now the intention for that is if you have a yellow surface it means that the scanner has seen that surface okay. I mean it, it's not fantastic but at least there's some data. But once you continue to go over that yellow surface it'll start, be, uh, it'll start getting painted in blue. Once your surface is turned blue, that means you know you have enough raw data points at that specific area and you can continue to move on. So again, one of those fantastic additions that we made with version 9.0. a 3D scan of the Polaris slingshot. Now, I did have some space limitation within the garage, so I wasn't able to scan the rear of the slingshot, but for the most part, you can see in about 10 or 15 minutes how much data I was able to capture. So now we can take this data for different types of downstream applications, so whether it's reverse engineering or inspection. Um, but in this situation, it was just more to demonstrate the scanning and some of those version 9.0 features, so. Perfect. So I hope you enjoyed that uh, scanning demonstration. So if anybody has any questions or anything at all regarding the equipment, how it performs, or even the software, feel free to reach out to us. Uh, you can visit our website, creativeform3d.com, or you can go ahead and reach out to me directly. Thanks, everybody, and we'll see you in the next one.